Sharks are really amazing animals. When you're next to an apex predator, you feel really alive, you feel part of nature. We're not on top of the food chain, we realize that. It gives us a sense of humility and hopefully interconnectedness. Sharks really have been maligned in the past and a lot of people still fear them. I think if we can change our awareness through films, through stories, through personal experience, that sharks are really cool. They're amazing animals. They've survived the great five great extinction events, 420 million years of perfect adaptation. They're just a consummate ocean predator. As apex predators, sharks are the regulator of all of the trophic levels below. So you take off, take away the apex predator, it's like pulling the roof off the house, the walls fall down. A healthy ocean is one that has sharks. So if you see a shark, that's a good sign. That means you've got some balance and health in your ecosystem. My name is David McGuire. I'm the founder and director of the nonprofit Shark Stewards. Shark Stewards' mission is to restore the health to the ocean by saving sharks from overfishing and the shark fin trade. So we focus on policy, but also education and research. We're really excited about looking at environmental DNA out of the Farallon Islands. We're trying to participate in citizen science, getting people involved out on boats, and also getting photographers images and trying to do pattern matching so we can identify individuals over time. One of our major focuses is in Southeast Asia and China and trying to, again, regulate the shark fin trade, either through DNA analysis and then publishing reports to the government showing that these are CITES protected species, uh, internationally protected species, uh, endangered species, and that people shouldn't be putting these fins in their soup. Protecting habitat is important for all species, and so not just sharks. We need to think about a comprehensive approach to the ocean and how to protect it, from the algae all the way up to the white sharks. Monterey uh, Aquarium has done work with satellite tagging, and we're seeing the sharks that are in our sanctuary here at Farallon Islands, down up on Nuevo, are migrating 2,500 miles every year. In that migration, they're crossing tens or hundreds of thousands of long lines, baited hooks that are pulling out tuna or billfish, but are also killing a lot of sharks. In addition to that, in the past two decades, the phenomenon of shark finning, killing a shark just for its fin, it's estimated that some populations have declined by as much as 90%, some even more. So without good biological data, without the ability to protect them in a marine protected area because they move outside those boundaries, it's very difficult to protect species like sharks. That's why we need to focus on legislation, making shark finning illegal, trying to regulate the shark fin trade. Obviously, eating sustainable seafood is one great solution we can all practice to help save the ocean. It's not a good idea to eat apex predators because we need them, but also they're loaded with mercury and organic toxins. So don't eat sharks. Nature is all of us, it's humans, as well as wildlife and animals. So protecting wildlife helps protect the health, I think, and the balance of what we are in humanity. Because we're wild too.